This video is a sample from the Secret Guitar Teacher Interactive course, The Five Main Elements of Music. The five main elements of music. Element number two, scales. Introduction. Take a random bundle of notes and play them in various random combinations. And most of us will agree that the result is not very musically satisfying. To make music that really engages us on an emotional level, we find that we have to organise notes in certain ways. In Western music, scales are the foundation of this approach to organising sounds in a way that makes sense to our ears and engages our emotions. The word scale derives from the Latin word scala, which means stair or ladder. And this is a useful way to think of a scale as the word is used in music. A scale can be defined as any graduated sequence of notes dividing an octave. In effect, this means that the lowest and highest notes of a scale always share the same name. In theory, an almost infinite number of different combinations of notes could fit this definition. But in practice, most of the music we hear is based on a relatively small number of different scales. The chromatic scale is unique in that it is the only scale that includes all possible notes. As such, it can be seen as the great granddaddy of all, all scales. On this course, we'll show you some simple ways to derive the major scale from the chromatic scale. The major scale is so called because it is used to define, to help us define not only all the other scales we use, but also the remaining musical elements, chords, arpeggios and modes. In this illustration, you can see how the notes in each element are created by omitting notes from its parent element. The E chromatic scale major scale the E arpeggio E major arpeggio and E major chord the questions I am most asked about scales are what are they good for and why should I go to the trouble of learning and practicing them? Both fair questions. And the answer to these questions is that understanding and being able to use scales makes learning music many times easier than simply picking up songs from tab. Think of scales as working similarly to an artist's palette. Each part of a song tends to draw on the same palette of notes. I call this the underlying scale of a song. So once you have identified the scale upon which a song is based, it becomes quite easy to be able to work out the parts of the song, its bass lines, melody, chord sequence, riffs, licks and solos. Understanding this concept of a song being closely related to one given scale will also help develop your understanding of what is meant by the word key as used in music. I hope you enjoy this course and please don't hesitate to post any questions or feedback as you go along. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button 
and subscribe to the channel. If you'd really like to maximise your potential as a guitar player, click on the link in the description below to the Secret Guitar Teacher site. Here you can sign up for a 30 day trial free of charge and without obligation. We won't even ask you for your credit card number.